generation of peptides in skeletal muscle. How can the skeletal muscle generate tetanus? Tetanus is defined as continuous contraction without relaxation. Continuous contraction without relaxation. That is the definition of tetanus. So, tetanus is defined as a continuous contraction without relaxation. If we look to the skeletal muscle, skeletal muscle when it's stimulated by nerve angles, it generates action potential in the form of depolarization and repolarization. In response to this event, which is an electrical change, we have a mechanical change, and this mechanical change consists of contraction and relaxation or the muscle twitch. Contraction and relaxation. We have here the phases, the latent period, and we have the contraction phase or the contraction period, and we have the relaxation phase. Regarding to the skeletal muscle, if the skeletal muscle is stimulated after relaxation, it has no refractory period, and in this situation, the skeletal muscle can go and produce further twitches, another contraction and relaxation. If the muscle is stimulated during relaxation, this means we are going to stimulate the muscle during the relaxation. The muscle can go and produce continuous or going to produce contraction and incomplete relaxation. Contraction and incomplete relaxation. And we usually name the first situation as separate twitches. The second situation, we named it as unfused tetanus. The muscle is producing contraction with incomplete relaxation. But if the skeletal muscle is stimulated during the contraction, it has no refractory period. And in this situation, the skeletal muscle is going to produce continuous contraction without relaxation. And we name this situation as what? As fused tetanus or tetanus. So what is the meaning of tetanus? Tetanus is continuous contraction without relaxation. Continuous contraction without relaxation. Why skeletal muscle can respond during the contraction? No refractory period. No refractory period. The excitability is not lost. So the skeletal muscle can be stimulated during the contraction and produce tetanus. Why the cardiac muscle cannot produce tetanus? Because during the contraction, there is complete loss of excitability or there is presence of absolute refractory.